Nice, thought I'd do a little fancy intro, you know. How are we all? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another Die at Five. Today's video is all about creating a cool Instagram picture. Now, as you could probably tell, I love an Instagram picture, but I love like a little bit of a different Instagram picture. I'm gonna take you through sort of step by step what I do to do like a little mini indoor photo shoot to Instagram. I'll show you the, the finished picture as well. I don't really do much editing to my pictures other than I kind of make the colors pop a bit more. So let's start. I think the first one I'm going to tackle is um, I have been keeping all of our Diet Coke cans. Every time Joe and I have one, I'm like, keep the can, keep the can, because I want to do a little picture with the can. First things first, I'm going to go downstairs, grab the cans, come back up, figure out what I'm going to wear for it. This could also be really cool, actually. Have you seen that app where you can, like, take a photo, and then when you take the photo, just certain things are in colour, and then the rest is in black and white? It's called colour. This one here. So I might have a little play around with that, see what we can create. So I will be back in a moment. I'm going to go get my um, props, you could call them and uh, we'll start this little photo shoot. I am back. So um, all you need for this is your Coke cans, or you can use any can really, it doesn't have to be Coke. That one's got like the tiniest little, like tiniest bit in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these as my rollers. Actually, maybe I should get in my outfit first because I want it to be like kind of old school looking, um, but with like a cool kind of vibe. So you know like the old school pictures of girls when they've got their like rollers in and they've got like red lips on and they're just a bit like cool. I don't know if this is gonna work. This is this is an absolute trial and error here. I'm gonna wear this jumper. I was maybe feel like I'm doing an advert for Coke. I'm definitely not guys. <laughs> And what I'm going to do now is somehow, I haven't trialed this once again, so I don't know how this is going to go, somehow put these in my hair like, oh, just like that, really. And you've got, I've got to try and pin that down. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to stay though. In and pin. Definitely feel coat going in my hair right now. Thank God I put my jumper on first too, because otherwise there is no way I'd be able to get a jumper over the top of this hairdo. Right guys, so I have my rollers in. It's very warm in here. Now what I want to do is makeup wise, I want to do like a really bold red lip. I'm just going to put a little bit of foundation on. Now I'm gonna do that bold red lip. Hopefully that's red. Yes, my Ruby Woo. Oh no, we're losing one. And all I want now is just a, like a liner on top just to finish off this look. I had a dramatic one. Like that's pretty dramatic, but that's kind of what I want. I, I, I guess Amy Winehouse vibes. It's very messy, but in a picture that will look fine. I'll definitely change my earrings to like a nice big hoop. And there we go. Now I'm gonna take a few snaps. I don't know what kind of backdrop to be fair. Hmm, hmm. I think I'm just gonna go down here and like sit against the wall. This is self timer at its finest, guys. I need my tripod. Let me go get my tripod, guys. Oops, I left the camera rolling. Um, so I didn't just get my tripod, I also brought Joe here with me. Yeah, you're the tripod. So I was gonna sit here, like, kind of like want it like old school looking. You want it old school looking? Yeah, like... I don't quite know what you mean. Does it look cool or not really? Yeah, got some good ones. So I got Joe to take some for me and now I've got the little tripod set up that I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and get some pictures like that I can see on my own. So I'm gonna set it up and I'm gonna go portrait mode and we're gonna go 10 seconds, boom, 10. It sounds silly, but try like looking in different areas. So like do a few photos looking down, 
looking to the side, smiling, um, just to sort of capture, you never know, just to capture like that one moment that you're like, oh, that's cute. See, like there's one here where I'm looking down. That one is super cute. I really like that where I'm looking down. I quite like these, you know, guys. Oh, I like that one too. Wow, I like that one too. That is sick. Guys, I'm really happy with them. I'll pick my favorite one, and like I said, I'll show you what I do to it. I, if anything, all I'll do is just like make the colors. Oh, my phone just popped out of the thing. If anything, I'll just make the colors pop a little bit more. Right, so I'm just going to take all this out, and then we're going to get started on picture number two. Picture number two involves Joseph. I need Joe for this one. You won't be able to tell it's Joe. Um, you see what I mean in a moment. This one's a cute one to do if you're at home, isolated with one of your sisters or your mum. You're not even going to see my face in this one, so I'm not going to take my makeup off yet. But this one involves a little bit of hair styling. So what you need to do is you need to start a braid from here, from like your ear. And you need to leave some hair down at the back. And this needs to carry on around down the back. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to start the braid here. This is a little tricky. Hopefully it has a good effect. Again, I've never tried this before. But we're going to see how it goes. And at the end of it, you want to do a big long plait like this. Because what is going to happen is this will be tied up. Then we're going to get Joe to put on the wig and we're going to braid the blonde wig and do the exact same hairstyle. Then from the back, tie our hair together and it should create a love heart. This is again trial and error, so I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to go now and get the wig and we're going to try and braid that. Here is the wig. It is a terrible wig, so <laughs> I'm going to attempt to braid it, but I think it's going to be very hard. You'll get the gist anyway. So if he was to put that on the back of his head, I think now that should work. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see, we'll see. Let's go downstairs and take a look. So. Don't let it fall off your head. Yeah, I'm trying, my eyes doesn't fit my head. Is, uh, this is weird. Okay, I am back in my little den now. Um, that one didn't go as um, I thought it would. It wasn't the best. I am now going to get ready for my third little shoot. And this one is it's fairly simple. Like you can do this one on your own. You don't need anyone to take the picture or anything. You can just self timer it up. Um, all you're going to need is a pair of shoes. The main focus is on the shoes. So my main focus shoe is going to be my green converse. And with the green converse, I'm going to keep it in my Pepsi, my Coke Pepsi theme. I got a, like a Pepsi jumper there. I'm just going to chuck the Pepsi jumper over the top and maybe just like do my hair like face isn't going to be the main thing in this so i'm going to just keep the makeup how it is it saves me having to redo it but i think i'm just going to wear a ponytail uh just like so little ponytail keep these earrings in i'm going to pop that dress on now and then we're going to try and attempt this or you need a bench as well a bench or like your sofa could be the end of your bed actually just anything you can sit on. Actually, I could even do it on this little chair that I'm sitting on now. Let me even do that. You'll understand what I mean when you see what's happening. Okay, so let me... I love when I can just like chat to you and then go to my wardrobe. We're going to wear this. I'm just going to chuck it over the top. And we need my green Converse. High tops I think will work better with this. This is going to be the phone right there next to the shoe. Okay, 
so you have to set your shoes up then you set your phone up have it so it's like facing you so the shoes are right next to the camera we could even take it back further i think so the shoes are in place i'm gonna put the timer on 10 seconds ah, i think it worked let's have a look i think that worked really well oh, it could be a little better it's super cute though i don't know if you can see i think i need to wear a green jumper with it here we go now i'm just like a bowl of green let's see if this works right 10 let's have a look <laughs> i like all of them they're really really cute So that was fun, I liked that one. The next one we're gonna do is simple again. Don't really need anything, any clothes or anything for this. Uh, you do need a laptop though. It could work with a phone. It definitely could work with a phone. And then you could take a picture on a camera or another phone. But I'm gonna do mine with the laptop. And all I'm gonna do is find a picture of a cat or a dog, or any animal you like really. Um, maybe like a meerkat. Meerkat. I like meerkat. I always think if I was an animal, I'd be a little meerkat. I can't really... F no, is it called a meerkat? I don't even know. Okay, I can't find a cat. So let's go with a dog. You want like a dog sitting up. I'm going to put in sitting dogs. Okay, I found a cool one. So now what we want to do is make that picture my actual background. So guys, I think I found the picture. We're going to be using that one. And for this, I know I said you don't have to really do your hair, but I'm going to do my hair, this thing. I'm going to do my hair in two, like, pigtails. So it looks like, oh, my lights have just gone crazy. So it kind of looks like dog's ears. Like, I'll do them like that. So, guys, basically what I'm doing is I am going to be the head to the dog. So the dog's going that way. So I need to take the photo. I need to pop my camera like on the mirror and then oh my god this is hilarious guys okay time is going on <laughs> oh my goodness let me have a look how this looks it's pretty funny it is pretty funny i'm gonna do another one <laughs> guys i actually love them <laughs> You could do it as well with absolutely any picture you want. Like, it doesn't have to be a dog. It could be any animal you want, anything, really. Um, but I, I just love that. Give that a go and see um, see what you come up with. So much fun. Right, the next one I'm going to do is um, more like a kind of slow-mo shot which i think will be very cool so i've got all those dry flowers that i got um when i was doing the bath picture when i laid in the bath and put the flowers in the bath so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the flowers into a umbrella and then i'm going to lift the umbrella and pop it open and then all the petals well, all the roses or flowers will fall out and um, I want it to be in slow-mo, so I think that will look really pretty. But for that, I'm not going to wear my hair like this. I want to go more, like, pretty. I want to wear, like, a nice dress. My makeup can stay the same. I'm not too bothered about that. And I think I'll just take my hair out. So I'm going to do the little transformation now. I'll get changed, and then we will um, attempt that one. So my flowers are off. They look so pretty. Flowers are in there. I'm going to now close it up. Yeah, okay, so just like that. And then... As I pop it open, it's going to have all the bits fly out. Okay, are we ready? Slow mo is on. Here we go, guys. Oops. It didn't open. That is so annoying. It didn't pop open. <laughs> funny i mean it's still pretty cool it's gonna look awesome though all right let's give it another go rolling here we go guys <laughs> ah, 
Oh, it's adorable. We got that shot, that was really cute. I love that. finishing the video yesterday um, turns out taking photos takes a lot longer than I thought so I thought it'd be cool to create a backdrop of newspapers obviously you you're gonna remember this current time forever and a day but having a, pi a picture like that with all the current news obviously everything most things not everything but most things in the paper will be about coronavirus so I thought it could be quite a nice little montage of you know Thing. I'm gonna go downstairs and create my wall. Okay guys, we're downstairs. I have a whole lot of newspapers. I have a, a wall. This wall here, I'm gonna put it on the ground and on here. And, uh, and we're gonna do our photo shoot. So, let's begin. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mysterious girl, I wanna get caught. Right, I have my DIY ladder. I'm gonna need some sticky tape. Okay guys, so there it is. There's my little backdrop, which I think looks very cool. Now I'm gonna try and take some cool pictures there. I'm gonna get like a light to give it some, you know, pop, or it could be nice actually with the natural light. I'll see, I'll take a few with natural light if it needs more light, I'll get a light. I'm gonna just try it in this outfit as well and see how we go. Otherwise I'll go and change, I might do a couple of options. It's super cool, guys. Sorry, you're down there. It's super cool. Here we go, got a big light. Yay, we have light. That's gonna look good, I think. Let's give it another, let's give it another go. So outfit choice number two, we're going a bit more glam this time. And then I've got one more outfit choice. I'll just do a few in this dress. And then like, I bought me these jeans to do like a real cash one. it up last time into this little outfit which I love and realized I did not do an outro well actually I did do an outro I obviously have not pressed record nice work Diane so here's my outro now hope it gave you a bit of uh, insta inspo to get some pictures done tag me in them if you do try any because I'd love to see especially I think a really cool one to do is the newspaper backdrop one most of the things that were on that newspaper were coronavirus related so it's like a picture you like you remember this time forever it's like a like crazy time at the moment so um yeah give that one a go and tag me in it and comment which was your favorite picture also go over to my instagram i'm going to be putting up my favorite ones what I, from what i did on the shoot that weren't in the video so head over to there and check that out Righto guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all very soon for another Dive Live.